I got a new laptop. Yay, now we can each have dedicated computers. Adine can be editing a video while I'm printing labels. It's really gonna make life a lot easier. We found some US Marine Corp dog tags and a pair of boots, so we're gonna talk about that. And we had an incredible sales day yesterday. It was a thousand dollar sales day our sixth in our eBay history. And it's an exciting day for me as well because today we're also reorganizing the eBay room again. We're also gonna show you some of the sales from yesterday. We're not gonna go through all of them and we're gonna talk just briefly about what's working for us, what's our current situation so that as you're watching this, you can't just say, well, how come I didn't have this many sales yesterday? How come they're getting all the sales? So let's mm -hmm. talk about that first. For those of you who are new to our channel, Thank you so much for stopping by, giving us a chance, and welcome. My name is Mel, and this is my husband, Adine. Together, we make up the team Hustlin' Hooks. We sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and we make a full-time income buying things at a cheaper price and selling them at a higher price. As of today, which is November 2021, we have been doing this just over two years. We started this as kind of a side hustle and now it's become our full-time job, which is fantastic. Amongst some other things that we're currently working on, we're pretty proud of what we've been able to achieve so far. But just to give you guys some context so that, you know, if you're having a slow sales day or a slow sales week or whatever it is, just understand we've been doing this for over two years and we have roughly 1,600 listings available in two eBay stores. And I'll let Mona kind of explain why we have two eBay stores. We opened another eBay store because forward thinking, we've seen a lot of people get suspended or even booted off of eBay. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to make sure that if that ever happened to us, we still had a means of selling. It did happen to us. We were suspended for a week earlier this summer. We did a video on it. You can check it out. Mm -hmm. And it was very helpful to have that second store that we had started earlier because we already had the feedback built up as well. So it's not a bad idea if you can swing it. And we also wanted to get into liquidation and that was part of the reason behind it as well. So we would have a funnel for some of that smaller inventory to move through there. We do keep that store private because once we start moving items through Amazon, we're not going to be sharing what we're selling because then we would uh, create more competition, which is a you know pretty normal thing. So don't be offended that we're not sharing that with you. Understand that we share a ton of information and we wanna make this channel as open and as honest as possible, but there are some things that we simply cannot share it. And that's another reason why we had that second account. So stuff that we'll sell on Amazon and it will also sell on that account and you know we won't talk about it. Also wanted to just briefly talk about our listing habits and what's been working for us lately that's been generating you know, roughly $600 or more in gross sales per day for like three weeks in a row, which has been awesome. Yeah, it's been great. Even though it's quarter four, I've said this in other videos and I stand by it, you still have to have stuff that people actually wanna buy in the quarter. They just sort of get that buying fever, so they're gonna be out looking more. What we've been doing is we've made a dedicated effort to list at least 30 items a day. So that's 20 items on our main store and 10 items on our secondary store. So we can keep things moving, keep things going. So lots of fresh inventory. We've really been trying to tackle that and get as much up as possible as soon as we get the inventory. We also hired a part-time employee that obviously yeah. helps. So right. this week we had her here for three days. Thank you, Emily, if you're watching. Um, it's been really good because we're able to get a lot more work done. So yeah. if you're a husband, wife team, or if you're solo and you're kind of struggling, consider you know reaching out to your friends, relatives, local community, see if there's somebody that is looking for a very flexible schedule that you can bring on and you know, figure out if you can afford it, but right. most of the time you are able to afford it, uh, especially if you give them a task that they can do uh, for you that will save you a ton of time, like creating drafts or taking pictures or whatever, folding clothing, I don't know. The return for us has definitely been worth it because we're not only able to get more things processed, but it allows us to build up our phones with photos so that we're mm -hmm. able to stay consistent even on weekends. When we try to have family time, we'll sneak in a couple listings here or there, or we'll just create drafts that are ready to just hit that list button on eBay. That's also been a really great strategy that's been working for us. Another thing that's been working for us is that we're 
like listing throughout the day. So we'll get three, four, five, six things listed in the morning, a few more throughout the day, right around, you know, noon, three, four o'clock after dinner, you know, close to bedtime. So we're listing consistently. That's bringing in traffic to our store throughout the day. And it's keeping those metrics nice and healthy. So it's tickling that algorithm just as tickling would it say That's i don't right. know if we purposefully tried to do that or if we sort of fell into doing that but once we did it like a day or two we were like i think this might be a we might be onto something here and it's it's been working so if it's not broke don't fix it and that's yeah. how we feel about it so those are just kind of some of the highlights. So again, 1600 listings over two years doing it full time with a part time associate. There's both of us doing this. So I just again, I wanted to reiterate that information and hopefully you find some of those tips helpful and obviously feel free to implement as much or as little as you see in our videos. And I, I just want to reassure everybody. We also have slow days sometimes as well. That's just the name of the game. But this is our second thousand dollar sales day in two weeks, which mm -hmm. is great. So we're we're gonna run with that momentum. For sure. Let me share with you these dog tags that we found on these boots and then we'll jump into some sales. One of the best things I've done lately is subscribe to the Hustle and Hooks YouTube channel as they share tips and tricks of how to do this for I didn't know I was on camera. So first of all, Danner is a really, really good boot company that you should be looking out for to flip online. That's what these are. So these are Danners, they're military combat style men's boots they have a dog tag on them i'm not going to show it uh, to you because our one of our friends on instagram pointed out yesterday when i shared this i basically said something like i'm not sure if this is going to increase or decrease the value of these boots but they have a dog tag on them before i go any further i just want to take the moment to thank anyone that served our country we both truly appreciate you and thank you for your service what I want to do is get your help on these because I, I want to try to get these back, not the boots, the boots we're keeping, but the dog tag itself, I want to try to get it back to the rightful owner because I feel that it's kind of wrong for us to even possess these and the fact that they were donated or I don't know how they got to us, I want to make the effort to get these out to who they belong to or at least their family uh, in case this uh, military member is deceased or I don't know, right? So if you have any ideas, any links, any information where I can go to either look up this person that served in the military or how I can get it back to them, please comment in the section below. I truly want your help so I can get these back to the rightful owner or the rightful family. Our Instagram follower, they actually pointed out that this person's social security number is on this dog tag. So I quickly took down all of the listings because I don't want to be selling people's information on the internet, right? I don't know how likely it is that someone's going to buy these boots and then steal this person's identity, but it's definitely not out of the ordinary because you have his first name, last name, and social security number on here. Anyways, wanted to bring that up just because it's kind of a unique situation. Again, help us if you can. We're going to redo the photos. We're going to take these dog tags off and put the you know listing back on. Luckily, the draft is already there. We just have to um, update the photos. A quick sale for you. This Madewell cardigan sold on Facebook within an hour of me listing it for $30, and they will pay shipping. This texture that I included in the title is Waffle Knit, and of course, it's a cardigan, just very relevant style. One of my favorite things to sell, a vintage sweater. This was from that lot of free clothing that that woman gave to us after her garage sale. Very different, got some wild horses on there. I can definitely see why somebody picked this up. We took an offer of $35 for these New Balance shoes on Poshmark. They will pay shipping on top of that. These are from J Stores. This style, this suede sneaker, I knew it was gonna sell fast when I saw them and sure enough, within a day or two of, of listing them, they did sell. This is a, a lot of random yesterday's child collection. It did sell quickly, probably because we did choose to lot it up. This is like those Boyd's Bears. There's not a lot of value in them individually. So we put them together and a collector just got a very good deal for $30 free shipping on the lot. We did get these for free as well from my aunt, so it's all profit. This is another 100% pure profit sale because these base legs are from our old TV. Good job to Adine looking up and seeing if they had value before we just recycled it with our TV. We upgraded 
So $20 free shipping, they'll ship first class, all profit. I'm gonna share with you five shoe sales. Actually, it's four shoe sales. One person bought two pair. I came across a lot of these collectible slash, you know, fancy higher end sneakers off of Facebook Marketplace. And the gentleman was taking offers for a lot of six pairs. They're all different, but most of them were some sort of Nike. One was like a Reebok special edition. Um, Ghostbusters with Stranger Things something something and the other ones were Nikes or Jordans so I'm going to show you those Scott on Instagram ended up buying two of the pair for $200 shipped Scott if you're watching this it's truly appreciated thank you for your support and thank you for your business we put up five of those sneakers on our Instagram story because we know in our audience there there are people who are collectors and people who really enjoy these brands so let me show you those these ones right here are the Nike Air Jordan 1 Retro High on Supreme Elephant. Uh, really nice condition overall, a little bit dirty. They need new laces, but the treads on them are really good. And then he also bought these Jordan 1 Retro High Hyper Royals. We made a deal for both of them. I gave him 15 bucks off uh, because he bought both. So they sold for $200 shipped and they're going to Minnesota. And that's not going to be too much in shipping, but really nice obviously look out for jordans anytime you're out in a thrift store they're going to be very competitive very hard to find these anus sold really fast on poshmark they were listed yesterday and they sold already pretty simple mary jane style they sold for 35 dollars. that was the asking price no offers we found two of these at the thrift for five bucks a pair obviously very happy to see one go that fast these uggs sold for 89 dollars I was able to type in the number on the inside tag to figure out that they're the Australia Classic Tall 2s. MSRP brand new is $200, so someone got a good deal. Obviously, we got a good deal out of it. We thrifted these for only $7. Ugg, a really nice brand to look out for. These were in really good condition, and they sold within two weeks of listing them. Next up, these Prevo by Clarks. Mary Jane sold for $20 plus shipping on Facebook. Really nice condition, not really too much to say about them. These are okay flip. You're not gonna make a whole lot of money if you find them for five, six bucks, but we will definitely pick them up for an easy $15 profit. And these did not need any work, right? So if we can find a pair we can make 15 bucks on and they don't need any cleaning or any work at all, just photos, we'll happily do that. So you all have probably noticed that we have a situation in our house where there is stuff everywhere. I belong to a buy nothing group on our local community and on there someone had posted an industrial sized shelving unit. We picked it up today, we traded out some of the smaller wire frame shelving. I mean this thing as you can see is really heavy duty, it's like 7 foot tall, it should hold a lot of stuff. That's going to allow us to put some of the stuff that ends up in our dining room and our living area where we should have, as normal humans, a space to live onto those shelves until we inventory them. We're working on that room again today and we'll show you what the house looks like now and then hopefully once it gets cleared up, the new system that hopefully we can stick to in the eBay room. So here's our dining room currently. This is listed inventory, as is everything out here. There's really just no holding spot for that unless we inventory immediately. I brought back the table. This is going to be a shipping table. I'm gonna get the shipping supply set up underneath it. And it's just an area that's better than the floor where we don't have to bend over and constantly go back and forth for supplies. And then as you can see, there's that shelf on wheels and we'll be able to hold stuff there before moving it to its final destination or at least final before we pack it. Welcome. Hello, may I come in? Come on in. Please show us around. This is MTV Cribs House and Hooks edition, eBay room. Look what I can do. That's hey. nice. Hey. Uh, so there. this is what we're working with now this is generally the same nothing to change here still our photograph listing as i said we're gonna try to keep this packing we're gonna bring in some more boxes i think and that'll be evolving depending on what we use the most and how we can make it fit without being cluttered and then this is working really nice as a packing area or once we have it packed before i label it so what i think i'm going to do 
because these are on wheels and very easy and very light, I'm gonna bring in another one from the garage to store the inventory before it's inventoried. So things that we have photographed, we can put on a shelf and we can keep a shelf for the boxes because it's probably gonna be every couple days before we can get to inventorying. And that way there's a solid place for everything that won't take over the house. Hopefully, if I were a bedding person, I might, I don't know. You tell me how long will this room stay clean? Uh, give your opinions in the comments below, we'll see. What about this lovely area, Melinda? We didn't clean up before we showed it off, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, well this is, okay, so this is what's so great about this is because before we had this pile of crap and then the boxes that we had packed up would go in this general area, sometimes they'd be over there and it would take longer to get labels going because I'm just constantly moving everywhere. So now I can have them here and now we don't have to fight over the computer and like go grab it from over there, plug it in because it's an older computer so the battery is always low. I can print, pull, and I'll have an Ikea bag here where I'll just pack everything up and then be an efficient person. I wanted to show off these people while, while you're in this room. So this yeah. is Shaquille. We found his picture. This, these, are, yeah, these are not real names. These I, are names that uh, Dean has assigned. Yeah, I, this is the only one I remember. This is Shaquille. He, we found him in a, in a box of stuff. This is his cousin, Steve. Really good baseball player. Shout out to Callie from uh, Rally Roots. Uh, she was not physically here, but in spirit. Uh, Jester, the dog, and then we have Sue and Frank, and then their um, in-laws are right here. Really nice. Mm -hmm. This is literally just random photos of people I found through buying stuff from other people, and uh, slowly they're just gonna fill up this board. I also wanted to draw your attention to, if you've ever wondered how Dean and I are in real life, this is an actual photo. This is a <laughs> me pregnant, obviously, but uh, that's us. Yep, we are really this nuts. We sold a couple action figures yesterday. Not too crazy. Twenty-five dollars will cover shipping. It'll be first class. This is a vintage Superman action figure. Another little one. This one was Spider-Man. Again, twenty-five dollars, and we'll cover the first class shipping on that. The Spider-Man was actually a viewer sale. So this is going to Robert who writes, Hey there, love your content on YouTube and I'm looking forward to your new eBay spreadsheet for 2022. I've been selling on and off for a long time on eBay, but I just started selling full time just last year and I've learned from your content. Here's a small token of support and I'll place Spidey over my work area. Good luck in the fourth quarter. May lots of sales be with you. Thanks again and take care. Rob, thank you so much, not only for the kind words and for your support, but also for your spreadsheet purchase. And we hope that Spider-Man brings you really good luck and gives you super human sales. Next is a jean sale and these are BKE. We sell a lot of BKE, it's a buckle brand. These ones sold for $40 and of course free shipping. We sold this Athleta Utempo shirt on Poshmark. It was a full price sale for $40. I found it earlier this summer at Goodwill. No surprise, it's more of a fall style, so it's sold now. One word of advice with these is that it does seem to help when you research a little bit and you can name the style because people tend to prefer a certain style with these brands. They kind of have their go-to looks and their go-to shirts and their go-to pants. I did misspeak on that. That's up-tempo, not you-tempo. Another posh sale, this one we went back and forth a couple times. We did settle on $25. It's a men's small Ralph Lauren sweatshirt type material. I've mentioned before that not all Ralph Lauren sells equally. This was a bright, vibrant color and it had the pop of neon on it. So I did pick it up for $5 at our thrift. Very happy to see it go so quickly. I've moved those clothes over to our new packing table. It's working out really nice so far. It's a nice open space for us to really grab our materials. These are our most used supplies. We have bubble mailers and we'll get the flat rates in there as well once we get more in. The 12 by 12s and also the shoe boxes. And we've been stacking our packed orders over here too, which really helps me when I'm labeling because then I can just pull and then put them right into the bags. It's a lot easier getting to them to the car and it's more efficient because then I don't have to repack everything in order to get them into the buildings. 
Tech Tech is usually a really good seller on eBay. We got this entire lot. This is like a skate park, a ramp that goes with that skate park. All of these decks and this brand new deck in this box. All of this came from one person on Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks. And it sat in the garage for a while. I just didn't get to it. What we decided to do was light up all of the ramps, put in some of the incomplete skateboards with wheels and trunks and a couple of complete ones all together in one lot. Separate the rest of the loose boards and then sell this because this is brand new in package. Sell it separately. Now this was damaged a bit, this box was, but it's still sealed. The box sold for 18 bucks shipped and it should ship first class. The lot of loose skateboards sold for 30 shipped. Again, that'll ship first class under a pound. And the skate park itself, that sold for $60 shipped. Now some pieces were incomplete and maybe we could have gotten more for it, but we're happy with it. It's probably going to ship UPS ground. A quick packing tip, anytime that we do like a whole bunch of this hard plastic toy plastic stuff, we don't bubble wrap any of it. What we're going to do is just put a bunch of craft paper on the bottom and some on the sides. Put it all in here neatly so it's not vibrating or shaking around too much and then just keep padding it with paper. That'll do just fine. We've shipped a lot of bulk boxes just like that without any issues. Obviously if it's super fragile you don't want to do that but with this stuff it's pretty robust. Another one of those hats from Jay's collection sold. This is that Clydesdale Budweiser hat. Really neat piece with cord corduroy on the front, leather in the back. It sold for 35 bucks, free ship. And when we do these, we like to include key terms in the search terms. So for sure, describing it, but also stating that it's USA made and vintage. That definitely helps it in the search rankings. Another piece from Jay's store buyout, this Oinko uh, dual deck. Really nice condition except for the eject button is missing on this side. It still works, you just need something slim to squeeze in here or if you have a long fingernail you can probably get it. It only sold for 58 shipped. I priced it low because of that defect, otherwise it works perfectly fine. And anytime we have an item that needs some sort of further explanation, we typically put see description or read. That way the buyer knows there's something potentially wrong with it. It is going out to the west coast, it's not going to be a lot of profit, but happy to move it within two days of listing. We just finished up packaging everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the room. I'm pretty excited about it. It was kind of a, it was a hot mess in here earlier today. It's still a little bit of a mess, but we're making a lot of progress and that's all we can do is just get better. Um, and, and remember, this was, it was never planned for us to run a six figure resale business out of our home. Right. So we're doing what we can. We are still aggressively looking for property. Yes, this doesn't mean that we're planning on staying here by any means. This was, okay, we don't have a place yet, but we still have to live here. So let's not just say like, hey, we have to live with it for now. Mm -hmm. Let's try to make the best of this situation and figure out a temporary solution where I am not a monster because I can't move around my house. So as far as a thousand dollar sales day yesterday, like Melinda mentioned earlier, it's our sixth one ever recorded. Uh, here are just the quick numbers. Yeah, so it was $1,034 in gross sales, and that was from 25 sales. 29 is our record, which happened on a weekend. Mm -hmm. So 25 in the middle of a week, we're, we'll take it. We would take that every day. Sure. Uh, to break it down a little bit by platform, that was 15 on eBay. And that was across our two stores, two on Facebook, seven on Posh, and then one Instagram sale. Yeah, really nice. Nice break. Number yeah. of car resales yesterday, it, it yeah. happens. Um, kind of first time in a long time, though. Yeah, typically we get one or two a day there. But hey, it is what it is. We usually don't get seven on uh, Poshmark in a day, so that was really nice. I did actually get an offer late last night, but I countered, and they didn't accept till today, so... We could have had a sale, I suppose. Could yeah. have taken a lower offer. I also denied a $950 offer for those uh, super nice speakers I showed you in the last video. So we'll see. Maybe those will sell today. We'll have back-to-back -back sales day. Or we'll have back-to-back $1,000 sales days. If um, you want to see us dance every time we have a $1,000 sales day, we do that on Instagram every time. That's but true. eventually we'll have those every day, right? So we'll have to think of a dance for like a $2,000 sales day or something. Something like that, for sure. Uh, thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll catch you guys on Monday's uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time video. Until then. Take care.